Hey guys, let's go um, visit the chickens. See what they're doing today. We've already collected eggs once, so I doubt there's gonna be very many. This right here is my girl. She followed me everywhere. So, let me actually introduce you to some of my chickens. I don't know if I've ever told you many of their names other than Miss Bertha. Um, they're not all named, there's just a specific few. I'll show them to you. It's one of my favorites. That big rooster way back there. That is John Wayne. This guy we got at the sale barn back in the fall. Or late summer fall. Anyways, he is the head honcho. He's beautiful. I believe he's an olive acre. That's what it looks like. This rooster back here. The only reason I'm keeping him is because I've never seen a rooster so beautiful as him. He is bright orange with white tail feathers. And he's just gorgeous. He does not have a name, but he probably deserves one. He always has this little group of black hens that hang around him to his ladies. Then of course we have the guinea whose name is Moose. And this girl is Cookies and Cream. And I'll have to look up her breed again. Uh, I can't remember what she's called. But I actually found her breed on the uh, one of the chicken hatchery websites. And um, apparently she's listed as like a, like a rare breed chicken something to do with an L. I can't remember the name. I'll put it up. All of our black Australorps, which are my bare naked ladies. I'll see if I can insert some pictures of them whenever we first got them because because those chickens, when I say I called them the bare naked ladies, is because they had no feathers. They had like a few on their rear, a few on their wings, but like neck down back bear so that's their names and now they've just feathered out beautifully and actually when we bought those chickens at the sale um they had what was it like maybe five of them all together in a cage and there was like three eggs in the cage <laughs> so we we're like heck yeah those are the ugliest chickens i've ever seen but we're buying them and now they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and so now this young lady, right here and right here, they're like the, pretty much the same chicken. But um, they don't have names, but this girl is like the best friend, my best friend of a chicken. She comes running at me every time she sees me coming outside. Here she comes. Yep. She's very, very social. I wish I knew what kind of breed she was, but I mean, these are all sale barn chickens. There's some that you can obviously tell what they are, but others are mixed. But yeah, she comes running, and uh, she always wants all the attention. And there is a leghorn. Don't have, does not have a name. Um. Oh, Bertha and her nasty butt. This hen, right back here, if she'll turn around, is um, our well summer hen, and she's absolutely crazy. She's just like a nut job of a chicken. Then there's Miss Bertha. Wow. Fluffing up her feathers. Guys, this is a big girl. Why don't you see her compared to my shoe? I wear a size 11 in shoes. So that's a, that's a big old chicken. Hi 
trying to think if any other ones have actual names or are specific. I don't think so. One of our red hens is named Feisty. I don't remember which one it is. But uh, Kylie named her when we got her. Oh, there's our Dominecker. Oh, right here. So, this gray, this lavender Orpington. Her name is Smoke Show. <laughs> I actually entered her in a chicken contest um, in the fall at our town's festival, fall festival. And um, I had a little bandana on her. Anyways, we didn't win. Some kids with some chickens on strings and tutus, they won. But I don't know. We'll see this year. Hop along who only uses one leg, don't know why. Bought her that way. Okay, and then right here we have our speckled Sussex. We had two of them, I call them the twins, but the one just got real bad and she ended up dying one day. I have no idea what was wrong with her. She's got, lost a bunch of weight. You know, chickens, it kind of just happens. Anyways, she's never been this social. I'm kind of surprised here. <laughs> She's very beautiful. Brown and greens and the white specks. Absolutely no telling how old. I mean, old, old. Um, and I shoved it in some of the, uh, the side walls, and uh, I'm going to do that side over there in a minute. But to um, just help with some insulation in here, you know. I'm going to make it a little better for them. We do have a couple cold nights coming up, but. I think it'll just help overall. It'll just make me feel better to have it having a purpose. Instead of just sitting in here being crapped on. Um, I don't I don't really want like a thick floor layer of old hay. Just it's so dusty. Oh my gosh, so dusty. Uh, maybe if I lay it all the way down, it'll help where they can't get to the dust. I don't know, we'll see. <laughs>
louder. tall and then up from here up is going to be chicken wire okay and then same thing on this side but you've already started that with the pallets right yep I got some more pallets to put on this side put these nest boxes in we're gonna get some more and put over here on this wall and probably above our doors over there because now we have 72 birds Yep. Total. We're going to put some roosts right here from the floor up so all the chickens can roost there. Or, since we're taking a lot of their roost away now. They don't really have any roosts. No, they, they just, just find kinda, places. Yeah, they just find places to roost right now. Here you go. Thank you. Um, I got to fix that hole over here. Yeah. I took, there's a piece of tin damage to it. They're using it as a door. But I think this is a big area for them. And then we got the outside pin out here. We got our outside pin. We're going to make it bigger eventually. Um, I'm going to put that, them two doors on hinges. That way they can go in and out there. And then our pin's going to come straight out later on. And it's going to go on back that way where the truck's sitting now. And then that way they have a big enough area, but they also get let out during the day in the field and stuff. So they're yeah. helping fertilize the field. Um, we just want to be able to keep them contained if we need to. Well, eventually, I'm, I mean, I think we're going to actually have a wooden pin, yeah. wooden fence. Wooden framed. Yeah. And then put hardwire cloth over it. And then the top, yeah. That way, no, if we're gone like a few days and we need someone to feed for us, they can keep them pinned up instead of being out in the field. We bought 29 new chickens the other night at the sale. And let's put our numbers up. Originally, 74. One of the chickens from sale died on the way home. Um, they were in very small containers. And we got like trampled. And they, they're actually in pretty poor body condition. I think they're younger. But they also don't have a lot of meat on them. And uh, anyways, and I had a hen die this morning. One of my original hens. And she was probably older. I don't know. Sometimes you lose chickens and you don't know the reason. It happens a lot. Anyway, so now we're at 72 chickens total. That's including my nine chicks. Uh, anyway, so now we are officially working on the chicken coop. Instead of just putting it off. So Kyle's building up the wall and putting up my nest boxes instead of us just finding eggs all over the place. <laughs> we'll see how much gets done today.
she likes that, sissy. Oh. Good job. Oh. Yeah. I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you guys liking and subscribing and sharing these videos. It really means a lot to us. And hopefully in the next one we get the chicken coop done and show you how it's looking. Kyle has been working really hard on it and he's doing a fantastic job. So thank you. See you next time.